Okay, this is um, Catching a Raccoon 101. Uh, first time I've ever even tried. We've had a raccoon at our property on and off, mostly on for I'd say probably five years. And he liked to just kind of crap in this one corner of a flat roof. And the pile was getting bigger and bigger. And uh, tried to call my pest guy to catch the raccoon. And I think he tried on a few occasions. Just said the raccoon was too smart, wouldn't go into the trap. Um, so I actually made a board with a bunch of spikes on it, just like plastic spikes. Put it in that area to try and get him to go somewhere else. Yeah, he went somewhere else. He went to the uh, to the landing a little bit higher and started crapping in front of the door. So I thought I would call someone else um, that I knew, but he doesn't do live trapping of raccoons. I guess there's only a couple of people that do that in the city. And uh, so I thought maybe it's time to take matters into my own hands. So we bought a trap, a live trap, have a heart. I guess that's the brand. I watched all the YouTube videos and I guess this is mine. I just was gonna just wanna record just out of curiosity more than anything else. I said it last night. I did all the things you're supposed to do. Um, and uh, I got a text that says uh, from one of the tenants that we have a raccoon. So um, we caught it apparently. So we're gonna go take a look and uh, I don't know, see what he's doing. And then we're gonna go release it away from the property. And uh, hopefully that will, uh, well, we know there's at least two raccoons cause they were both paws up on the back screen door as my tenant, as our tenants went to leave in the morning one morning. So they're getting a little more and more frisky and comfortable. So that's why it was time to uh, get this resolved once and for all. So I've got um, a tarp and gloves, some long sleeves. I'm going to go uh, cover them up and uh, take them away. So let's go see what we got. Okay, this is the back door where two raccoons were spotted by our tenants. Just like had their claws right up there, kind of peering in, looking to get some food or something. So there's a you know few steps. This goes up. It's like a few stories, but raccoons. They're just I don't know crawling up the stairs, coming up the stairs. Like they got a long way to go to get to where they were going. Here is. The landing that they were using as a washroom for the last many years and the crap was just piling up in the corner so there's the bird spikes on a board definitely been no sign of them crapping over there since I put that there but uh, so this is the second floor uh, here's ew this is where also they like to crap fresh diarrhea that wasn't here last night so you can see stains of, and this is right by one of the tenant's doors. Uh, underneath is all that, and it's just not pleasant. So, oh, let's see what we got. I see something. There he is. Let's not startle him. I don't think that's possible though, but he's in there. Look at that. He, uh, there was sardines in there. I zip tied the sardines to the back. Oh crap, I also zip tied the uh, trap to the balusters. <laughs> he's looking at me. Yeah, he's cute now until he starts hissing at me. Um, so that reminds me, I have to go get scissors or something to, uh, to um, snip the zip ties so that I can actually move the trap. Now in hindsight, that's probably what's gonna be what startles him, but I'll put down, eh, he's pretty chill right now, so that's good. There's my gloves. Here's my blanket to cover him up and not to scare him. But I have to go back down and get something to uh, cut the zip ties. I forgot to bring my side cutter, so I'm gonna go see what I can find. I'll be right back. There's actually two cats that roam around. One is our tenants, and one is, this was a stray cat, but it looks like the neighbors at the back there took over. And I was hoping not to catch one of the kitties. 
You look like you're pretty chill. I'm glad we didn't catch you. <laughs> okay, there are a bunch of bees around too, because apparently they like the smell of sardines as well, but right now he's chill, he's maybe getting used to me. Yeah, he's just like sniffing around, so I'm gonna throw my gloves, put on the blanket, and hope I don't startle him with the sound of me cutting the zip ties. That'll be the most sketchiest thing. I'm nice and calm now, but as soon as he like screams at me or barks at me or whatever he does, you may hear me scream like a girl. Hopefully not. Let's see how this goes. scared me in my ear. That's a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a snap when I cut that first zip tie, but so far so good. So let's work on the other two. Okay, all three zip ties are cut. I guess I'll bring them out into the middle of the deck, get the tarp right around them. I'm gonna bring this dowel, because that is what I'm gonna use to prop open the cage and free him elsewhere. Nothing too exciting to see there, really, but uh, seems so far so good. Here. So I got it. Uh, cage covered up all the way so you'll be able to see like <laughs> the bottom of this through the bottom when we're going down the stairs so hopefully that doesn't pose a problem okay I'm gonna stick them in my car that's the next step and see how that goes okay got him down most of the stairs he actually weighs quite a bit he's starting to move around so I better just and he smells like nasty oh, sardines too but look who we found along the way orangey cat our tenant's cat she's just chilling out glad we didn't catch her either um so all right this guy's getting a little uh anxious time to uh pack him up and get out of here all right there he is in the back of the vehicle We've got layers of cardboard and plastic so hopefully if he uh makes a mess it'll be easier to clean up but yeah i know Hopefully that doesn't happen. So, go for a little tour and then uh, see how this whole release process goes. Um, pretty stoked to have caught this guy and remove him from this property. He's been quite the nuisance, uh, so uh, mission is getting near accomplished. Okay, here's an update on how things are going. Um, getting close to destination here. The worst part about the ride is the smell of fish. Oh, it's gross. And I try and roll down my windows, but it's like bee season and they're everywhere. So every time I stop, bees try and fly into the vehicle. So can't roll the windows up, can't roll them down. Um, yeah, so I hear him shuffling a little bit. So he's not exactly loving the car ride, but <laughs> I found this happened to be in my car, this white rack, and uh, that could come in handy as like an extra layer of protection when I try and release them. So uh, maybe I'll use a like a more pleasant smelling food next time, like fried chicken or something, so the car ride ain't so nasty. Okay, sorry I couldn't really document the release because I just didn't have enough hands and wanted to get it over and done with quickly, but. Um, where is it? He just partly climbed up that tree. And then he's on the other side. But he's out. Propped open the thing with this. And, uh, 
All right, it is officially mission accomplished. Now I gotta go get the other one. All right, so I really didn't get to document the release very well. I uh, just, uh, I, you know, I didn't bring a tripod and think of anything. I was gonna kind of set up my camera and try and catch it, uh, catch the process, but uh, it did go without a hitch. I just set the trap down with the uh, moving blanket over top, um, right on the grass. I propped open the, the door and used my long dowel there to hold it open. And I backed away and uh, within about five seconds, he had uh, just kind of sauntered out of the trap and then kind of ran up that tree a little bit halfway and then decided he didn't want to go up the tree and he climbed back down and kind of just vanished into the, uh, the long grass there. So that's what happened. Um, I'd say everything was uh, was a success from start to finish, except for the smell of my car. It is not pleasant, so I'm gonna have to uh, spray some Lysol or something, because uh, I don't know, like, I don't think he uh, peed or pooed, which is nice. I did put the cardboard down and all that, but uh, yeah, it just, it just does not smell nice in here, so. That is the, the one thing that was not a, a, a glowing success. But other than that, I'm happy with the uh, results. Uh, but I do have one more raccoon I've got to catch. So uh, fingers crossed on that one. Okay, here's a bit of the aftermath. Um, when the tarp was over top or the blanket, looks like he uh, was kind of plucking away at it. And uh, there are pieces of moving blanket. Uh, in the cage. Also, sardines are definitely uh, licked clean, so I don't have to worry about any rogue sardine juice. And those are the zip ties that were holding the sardine can right to the middle. Um, so, how did you make that out? So I time to clean up the trap and reset.